So in 4.7, we're going to be investigating something called scale factor. Right, so we're going to be doing complex fractions today. So let's review, right? 36 divided by 12. Now you could simplify this, but it's just 36 divided by 12, which is four. Now 12 divided by 36, however, is not four, right? There, we're going to simplify it to one fourth. 12 and a half divided by two and a half, right? That's what that is. So this is 12 and a half. I'm going to run out of room. So 12 and a half divided by two and a half. 12 and a half is 25 halves divided by, what, two times two is four plus one, divided by five halves, which is 25 halves times two fifths. The twos cancel. The five becomes a one. The 25 becomes a five. That's five. Right, five over one. Well, the other one is the reciprocal, so I could do all this work, and I guess I'll show it, but hopefully you know the answer is gonna be the reciprocal one fifth, right? Because this is two and a half divided by 12 and a half. And so two and a half is five halves divided by 25 halves, which is five halves times two 25ths, the two cancels, 5 becomes a 1, the 25 becomes a 5, and there's the 1 fifth. All right, 4.8 divided by 1.2, right? So this is 4.8 divided by 1.2. Move the decimal. It's the same as 48 divided by 12, which is 4. So if that's 4, this other one better be 1 fourth, the reciprocal. But let's see that. 1.2 divided by 4.8. Can't have 4.8, have to have 48, so this has to become 12, but 12 doesn't go in, 48 doesn't go into 12, decimal straight up and a zero. How many times does 48 go into 120? Well, I'm going to say twice. 2 times 8 is 16, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 96. Borrowing, you get a 4 there, and then you get 24. Bring down a zero, 48 to 245 times. Yeah, because 5 times 8 is 40. And 5 times 4 is 20, yeah, right? 0 0.25, 0 0.25 is 25 hundredths is 1 fourth. All right, so how do we compare the size of two objects? How many times bigger is the bigger? This is a trapezoid. A trapezoid has parallels, two parallel sides and two sides that are not parallel. How are these trapezoids uh, compared. And so let's see that today. So when objects are proportional, now when objects are proportional, we call them similar. So now that word is not in blue, but it will be when you get to geometry class. So when those objects are proportional, they're called similar. And the scale factor is our, un our unit ratio that shows how many times larger or small the figure has become. So the rectang rectangles are proportional, they're similar. Find the scale factor relating the larger to the smaller. So larger to smaller. Now, this is proportional. So like this 45 is in the same spot as this 15. This 21 is in the same spot as this seven. Okay, and the other ones are similar. Those better have the same simplified fraction. Now notice, it said you have to read these. This says larger to smaller, All right? So 21 divided by 7, 45 divided by 15 is 3, All right? That's the constant of proportionality. In this case, that constant of proportionality, the simplified fraction, right? It's 3 over 1, which is 3. Is When it's an object, it's called the scale factor. And you'd say instead of k equals 3, we're going to say scale factor equals three and be careful you don't call it sf because that's also square feet so just call it write it out scale factor equals three all right so this one right so it's seven to three and a half right this side in the lower oh and it says larger to smaller so larger up top smaller on the bottom because larger to smaller and it should also, two and a half, 
should have this divided by one and one fourth should have the same answer. So let's do seven divided by three and a half, which is the same as seven divided by seven halves, two times three is six plus, which is seven times two sevens, and you get two. So we say the scale factor equals two. And that's a way of saying the second re rectangle is twice as big as the first rectangle. All right, so the rectangles are similar. They're proportional. Find the scale factor relating the larger to the smaller re smaller rectangle. Hence, it's not a whole number. Okay, so it's six and one fourth compares to two and a half. And that should have the same answer as three and one eighth divided by one and one fourth, right? Because those sides compare. So you can do either one of those. I'm gonna do six and one fourth divided by two and a half, which is six or one, well, let's make them, right? So it's 24, 25 fourths divided by five fourths, which is 25 fourths times four fifths. I said it's not a whole number, but I got a whole number, I got five. Wait, I, I've made a mistake here. So 25, oh, I did this mistake the other day. Divided by five halves, that's a two here, yes. Okay, so this is two fifths. So 25 fourths times two fifths, because it's divided by five halves. All right, so this two becomes one, that becomes a two, so it's 25 tenths, there you go. So we're, you do make scale factor, so this is two and a half, two and five tenths, but you wouldn't leave it that way. You would either make it the scale factor, the scale factor equals two and a half or it equals 2.5 either way. All right, so this larger rectangle is two and a half times the size of the smaller rectangle. And if you do three and one eighth divided by one and one fourth, you should also get two and one half. All right, so now we're doing smaller to the larger. So the scale factor is, should be less than one, right? It could be a decimal or a fraction, but it's gonna be less than one because we're going from, it's a fraction. This is a fraction of the size. So we're gonna do the smaller to the larger like that. And that should have the same answer as six to 18. Well, hopefully you see both of those simplify to one third. And so we would say the scale factor here is one third, all right? You, you don't wanna make it point, it, point three repeating, but we would never do that. The scale factor is one third. It's a not three. It says smaller to the larger. So you have to read them. All right, smaller to the larger again. So we have three and a half compared to seven, and we have one and a half compared to three. Smaller, to the larger. I'm going to do one and a half divided by three. They should have the same answer, which is three halves divided by three, which is three halves times the reciprocal, one third. Yeah, the scale factor, the scale factor is one half. It's half as big, the second rectangle. All right, so the trapezoids are similar. They're proportional. Find the scale factor ruling smaller to larger. So we have decimals. So it should be 0.8 divided by 3.2, right? Should have the same answer as 1.5 divided by six, which have, should have the same answer as this one, 0.4 divided by this 1.6. You can do any of those. Let's do 1.5 divided by six. That looks like the easiest one to me. Six doesn't go into one, but decimal straight up. Six into 15 goes twice. Two times six is 12. Remainder three, bring down a zero. Six into 30. Five times five times six is 30. And so the scale factor, right? It's less than one is 2,500, it's 0.25. You could also say it is one fourth. But since uh, all the dimensions are in decimals, why wouldn't you say it as a scale factor of 0 0.25? 2,500 simplifies to one fourth though. So let's practice. So this one we have, I see 4.2 
compared to 1.4 and I see 2.1 compared to 0.7 so I can do any of that so I'll do 2.1 divided by 0.7 which you can't do so you have 7 into 21 oh my goodness this is peasy peasy and so we say the scale factor we're going to make sure it says larger to smaller it does so it's going to be bigger than one right if they were the exact same size by the way the scale factor would be exactly one we'd never and they would not be similar we, we would say they, they were congruent we'll do that later in the year but if they're getting bigger all right the scale factor is more than one so the scale factor here is three so trapezoids are similar find the scale factor relating to smaller to the larger so smaller so we have 12 compares to 72 or 9 compares to 54 or 6 compare oh, that looks like the easiest one to simplify all right do they all simplify to 1 6 yeah so 1 6 is our scale factor So larger to smaller. So here we have six and three fourths compares to one and a half. Ten and one eighth compares to two and one fourth. And three and three three eighths compares to three fourths. Those should all have the same answer. Well, let's do let's do three and three eighths divided by three fourths. So 3 times 8 is 24. 27 eighths divided by 3 fourths is 27 eighths times 4 thirds. So we cancel the 4 and the 8, and that gets 1 and 2. And I'm getting 27 sixths. Ugh. All right. And so what is that? 6 goes into 24 sixths is 4. So this is 4 and three six oh four and three six is four and a half so the scale factor right scale factor and it's larger to smaller is four and a half or four point five but they're in fractions so what so the other one second one is four and a half times bigger than the first good luck on the homework